You could have the most beautiful design, but if your mock-up photo is crap, it's gonna be really hard to get those clicks needed to make a sale. Moral of the story, you need to have good mock-ups. Don't skimp out here. I'm Leah, and I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful mock-up photos using five different methods in Canva. We'll learn how to use pre-made lifestyle photos and backgrounds, how to create mock-ups using AI, and how to use smart mock-ups. And along the way, I'll show you some of the different editing tools available with Canva's premium subscription. I highly recommend investing in the premium subscription because it'll give you a lot more access to the different elements and these editing tools that I show you. Overall, it'll make your life a bit easier. The first mock-up is relatively simple and quick to make. We're gonna find a pre-made photo that's ready for use and add our design. So first thing in Canva, we're gonna click Create Design, and then we're gonna make a custom size. And we'll go 2700 by 2025. Now, this is the recommended size for Etsy. They recommend at least a width of 2000 pixels, but this may vary depending on what sales platform you're on. And then we'll click Create New Design. And first thing we're going to do now is gonna find the photo that we wanna use. Let's click on Elements. And let's say we wanna find a T-shirt. We can type in black T-shirt. And we'll click on Photos. So now you can just kind of scroll through until you find something that you like or that fits your niche. You'll also notice that a lot of the pictures do have that little crown or the pro. That means you have to have the pro subscription in order to use this photo. Okay, so I found a photo that I like. First thing I'm going to do is adjust the size and placement of this initial photo. So we can set it as the image background and that'll remove all that white space. And if we double click on it, we can expand it, resize it, we can crop it if we want. I'm going to resize it so we can really focus on the t-shirt and actually see the design better. Now it's okay if you cut off their face a little bit, we wanna focus on the design. Okay, you can click enter and we see now that our image has been fitted to the template. Let's now add our design on top of the t-shirt. To do that, we'll go to uploads or you can find the design that you've created in Canva. We'll click on our design. And now you're simply going to resize and replace the design to the t-shirt. So we'll center it on our model here a little bit. If you need to rotate it, you can rotate it. I think that looks good for placement. And we're also going to lower the transparency a little bit because we know that designs print a little bit differently on fabric, on products, than what we see on the screen. So we can click transparency. And I usually set it between 85 and 90, but kind of play around with your design a little bit, see what looks the most accurate. I'm pretty happy with this. We can see the design. We've got a nice lifestyle mock-up. Let's go ahead and download it. We can click share, download, and we'll save it as a PNG and download. And that's it. It may be hard to find some specific Printify mockups in Canva, like the accented coffee mug. So what we're going to do is find a regular mug mockup, and then we're gonna download our pre-designed product from Printify and upload it to Canva, and then kind of beautifully edit them together. Let me show you how. So first, we're gonna find our mockup. Again, we'll find photos, and just scroll and look around until you find something that speaks to your audience. I like this one. Again, we can either set the image as our background or we can resize it. Once you've set your mock-up background, now you can add your photo from Printify that you downloaded with your design product. So here I have an accented mug. So first thing we're going to do is use Canva's editing tools to remove the background of our Printify product photo. So we'll click on Edit Image and find the background remover tool. Again, we'll see that it has a little crown next to it, meaning that you have to have the premium subscription in order to access this tool. We'll click on it. It did its magic, 
and now we have just our mug. So now, let's resize our mug so it kind of matches up with the mug we have in our Canva photo. And we'll kind of align it nicely. We want it to look like she's holding the mug. You'll see though, in the background, we can see a little bit of the handle of that original mug. We're gonna use a second tool in the editing tools. We're gonna use the magic eraser tool. Let's click on our background photo and we'll kind of have to see, this gets a little bit tedious, so it might take a couple tries. See what you need to erase from that background mug. It looks like kind of the bottom part of the handle. We'll click the magic eraser and we can resize our brush if we need to. And we're just going to erase a little bit of this mug handle. Then click erase. Now we can click out of this and now we see in our photo, we can't see that original mug handle. We only see our pink accented handle, okay? But the hand is still not in the right position. So we are now going to click on our Printify product and we're gonna erase this part of the handle so we can see the hand. So we'll kind of take note where we need to erase here at the top of the handle and here a little bit at the bottom of the handle. We'll click the magic eraser again. And if we need to, we can adjust our brush size. And I think it was about here. Even if it's not perfect, we can go back in and uh, fine tune it. So we'll erase this part of the handle. Click erase again. Okay, we see that the handle has been erased here. Let's go out of the tools. Okay. So it's still a little bit on the person's hand, so we need to erase a little bit more at the top and at the bottom. We've got a little bit too much still there, so let's go back into the eraser and we can erase just a tiny bit more. We can make our brush smaller. If we had a little bit like that. Let's see how that'll look. The eraser tool can be a little bit nitpicky, but I think I've got it. What do you think of my happy, sassy flower child mug? Now for some truly unique mock-ups, we're gonna try Canva's Magic Media AI app. To find this app, we can click on apps and search Magic Media, but since I've already installed it, I'll find it here. And now we can enter our prompt. It's best to be specific with your prompts. Black male wearing a white t-shirt and he'll be taking a walk in the park. Once you have your prompt, you can click generate image. And so it's gotta think for a little bit. It'll throw out four options for you to choose from. If there's nothing that you like, you might have to play around with your prompt a little bit. You may have to add some more words, maybe remove something, change things up a little bit. So we have four images generated. If we click on an image, it'll throw that into our template and we can make it bigger to kind of check some things. Remember, AI still kind of has some trouble with faces, limbs, so we really wanna check our models here. We can click on another one just to check it out. I do like the fact that it's showing the front of the t-shirt. Remember, the focus isn't the model, but the actual design on the shirt itself. Now, if there is one image or one image style that you really like, so I, I like the, the walking one, or yeah, this one closer up. We can click on the three dots and we can generate more images to look just like this one. They'll be slightly different, but it'll give you that same style. So again, we have four more images, more, more close to this style that I like. We can click on another one to kind of take a closer look at it. So I actually still like this first one because he's got less wrinkles in the t-shirt. It'll kind of make our design a little bit better. So let's use this one. We'll delete our other one. First thing we're going to do now is adjust the size of our image here because we want the focus to be on the t-shirt. Now we see that the face is a little bit AI-like. We can actually crop the face it's not as important in your lifestyle mock-up photos to show the face as it is the t-shirt the design. So we can actually just zoom in. Okay, so we don't really see that. We wanna check his 
arms, they seem pretty okay to me. So I've placed my photo now to a position where we can really see the t-shirt and the design. There are a few wrinkles in the t-shirt which may look our design just like it's thrown right on top. So we're gonna use the magic eraser tool to get rid of those wrinkles. Click on edit image, find the magic eraser. And we can zoom in here a little bit. And we're just gonna take our eraser right over these wrinkles here. So they don't interfere with our design. And erase. Okay. We'll exit our editing tools. And now we can see we have a nice flat surface for our design. So I've already previously uploaded a design so we can find it in uploads. Click on it. And now we can readjust our design to fit our t-shirt. Make it a bit smaller, kind of center it here. I think we need to rotate it a little bit. And we're also going to lower the transparency. Magic Media isn't the only AI app available in Canva though. There's also Dolly by OpenAI and Imagine by Google Cloud. I played around with the same prompt and got more or less the same results though. But let me know what you think is the best. Now we're gonna use AI again to create a mock-up photo background and we're gonna take our designed product from Printify and use that. So I'm gonna use the Magic Media app again. We'll put in our prompt, say a mock-up photo of a blank bedroom wall. So we have four options to choose from. Again, we can click on one to view it a bit larger. Make sure nothing is weirdly done by the AI. If we want, we can generate more images of that same style, but I actually think this turned out quite nicely. I do notice that the lamp here is kind of just floating, hanging from nothing, but we can resize that and kind of crop it a little bit. And I'm going to add actually a poster here, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. The focus is the product, not the bedroom. Now, I've already downloaded my mock-up from Printify and we will use our editing tools again. I'm going to remove the background and we want to rotate our poster here. And now we can place it on the wall here. And we can make it a little bit smaller. And we'll center it just above our bed. Pretty easy, isn't it? This last method is probably the quickest and easiest. We're going to use smart mockups with Canva's mockup app. So we can either find the app here in the apps page, or if you've already downloaded it, you can find it here. And you'll see we've got different categories. We've got mugs, we've got smartphones, apparel, home and living. I'm gonna go for a tote bag. And I actually like this first one. The orange is very fun. So we'll resize our image. And now we'll upload our design or find one in Canva. You can add it. And we need to add it into this frame here. Okay, you'll see that it's been added to our bag. If we double click on it, we can now adjust the design. We can adjust the size, we can crop it, we can move it around on the product if we want. We can align it better or we can flip it. And we can change the color of the actual bag. And you can find the exact hex code of the Printify product in Printify's product creator. So I've added that and we will apply our changes. Now, I think that's a pretty sharp looking mock-up photo. Like I said, this method is a quick and easy option, but you'll also be a little bit limited on your product options, meaning that other people might be using the same exact photos. 
But speaking of quick and easy, I'd be really grateful if you filled out the survey that we have linked in the description to let us know what you think about this video. It'll help us make better content for you in the future. And you can win some really cool prizes like store credit or even free samples. All in all, the concepts that I showed work no matter what products or niche you're creating mockups for. But it's important that you dive right in and try it for yourself. With a bit of playing around and experimenting, you'll have unique, stunning mockups in no time. You know what gets buyers' attention even more than stunning mockup photos, though? Stunning video mockups. Learn how to create those in Canva, too.